Hey, Christmas is getting close, and here's a little something you can make on your laser that is not difficult, although it does look difficult. looks complicated, but it's not. And no, don't be uh, scared that you can't do this on a 10 watt laser because you can, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, we're going to cut one of these out on a 10 watt laser. And I'm going to go first here onto the computer and I'm going to show you how to set up this file. This is a purchased uh, design, by the way. It came from uh, designbundles.net. No, not sponsored. That's just where I purchased this design. And it has a lot of different options down here for the ornaments you can hang off the bottom. And you don't need to use twine. You can use conventional hooks. And there's a, a whole bunch of different uh, ornaments you can choose from as well as different sayings around here. If you don't want it to say Merry Christmas, maybe just say welcome. It kind of depends on your beliefs and so on. But they're even there with the Merry Christmas part or Happy Holidays or whatever you want to put it. There's different things you can put on there. There's different paint schemes you can come up with. Uh, something I did add to this is a back. So this has a back to it. The original design did not have a back. It was, it's just a see-through. And I thought it looked better with a uh, back on it with a kind of a dark blue behind the snowflake. So I'm going to take you on the computer here and I'll show you what to do with this file once you unzip it and bring it in the light burn. Yes, I know there's some background noise. I've got every 3D printer I've got running right now. We've got so many orders. But I uh, also want to get this video done and I wanted to do it up here because it was it's warmer up here than it is down in the shop. Then I got the shop pretty much tore up from... Uh, remodeling I'm doing down there so I'm kind of limited to being up here so sorry about the background noise. After you download the files you'll see that there are three different ones here that these have been unzipped now. You got the lettering, the snowflakes, sign and uh, the ornaments. So we're going to open the, all of these up in the light burn and we're going to sort them out and I'll show you what to do with them here. Okay so here we are in light burn so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in the sign itself and we're going to use the SVG. So that brings in the sign itself. Now, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning here, I want to do a background. So how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is turn that into a cut, for one. I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to do a Control-C. I'll move that off to the side here. Then I'm going to do a Control-V, which puts it right back on there. Now I want to ungroup it. So what I want to do here is take out everything that's on the inside. And you have to piddle around a little bit and getting things selected here. Now don't delete your holes. You're going to need those. Okay, so now you've uh, deleted all the inside stuff and you just left the cell at the back. And like I said, don't delete the holes. You're going to need them. So we're going to select this whole thing here. And we're going to regroup that. So this is going to be the back. So now I'm just going to move this off to the side over here. And you can do this in three separate completely operations if you want. I just want to show you uh, how I like to do this. So I have everything on the same page so to speak. And we're going to do a file and save as. And put this Christmas door sign. So the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in my lettering. And here we want the SVG. So you see we got all kinds of stuff here. So we want to uh, separate some of these. I may need to move my ornaments out of the, or my other parts out of the way farther. And I'm going to select all these and change them first to a cut. Now I need to ungroup those. Now I need I can separate these pieces out. So I'll move that over here and I'll regroup that. Take this one down here. Move him over. I'll regroup that. We got the ho 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 here. Move that over here. Regroup it. The welcome. Move that over here. Regroup it. And then this guy here. 
I can bring him over and regroup it. Now I'm working on all this stuff on the same screen if because I use absolute coordinates. If you're using current position or something else, uh, th this isn't going to work because it's going to try to find everything everywhere. So, but so you'd want to do this in uh, in separate files and screens. But I like to have everything kind of handy here so I can look at it. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in my ornaments. They give me one the DXF file here, so you get at this whole batch of ornaments here. And I'm going to change them because they're cut. So these are grouped. So you need to ungroup this. Now you need to select these individually. Of course, you could cut them all out this way if you want to do. But after each one you move, make sure you regroup it. And I will go on through these. You, you get the idea here. Okay, as so as you can see, I've got everything uh, separated out and regrouped. Uh, once I move them, make sure you group them or you could go to move them again and you'll mess the whole design up. So something I like to do with these round ones like you see down here is I like to put a background on them. So just, uh, just grab one at random. I will grab the penguin guy here. And I'm going to copy it. I'll do a control C. Go up here to the work area. With control V, I'll blow this up so you can see what I'm doing here. So right now it's grouped. What we want to do is ungroup it. Now I want to select everything on the inside except the mounting hole at the top. So we're going to delete those parts. Then I'm going to select this whole thing here and I'm going to regroup it. Now this becomes the back for any of these round ornaments. So you could paint this back a different color or something contrasting uh, according to what you want to do with uh, your round ornaments. This uh, adds a nice little touch, adds a little bit of extra depth. Okay, so how are we going to cut these out? As I say, I'm going to give you settings here for a 10 watt laser. And the ornaments and the uh, lettering and the base part of the sign, and I've got a lot of pieces as you can see up here as I've done some changes we're going to get into here in a minute, are all out of quarter inch plywood. And I, even though I'm going to give you some settings here, I do want you to do a test on your own and test whatever material you are using. Now there are a couple of differences. The backing, like this here, the, the back of the sign is eighth inch plywood and the back of the ornaments are eighth inch plywood. Otherwise everything else is made out of quarter inch. Now I'll get into what I did here with where you see the two different colors. So what you want to do on anything you're, you're cutting out, you want to cut the inside parts. That's all these little guys in here. Before you cut the outside, don't cut the outside first. You always want to make sure you cut it on the inside portions first. So my setting here, and again this is for a 10 watt laser, with a quarter inch plywood. It's 350 millimeters per minute at 100% power and four passes. That's for the black layer here as well as the red layer. That's what you are going to need. That's a kind of a benchmark. As I said, make sure you do your own test. And uh, if you have scraps of other stuff you've done, perhaps with quarter inch plywood, and you got little corners and little parts and pieces here and there. This is a good way to use them up. Okay, for your back pieces that are made out of the inches plywood. For example, here I've got an ornament back up here. Uh, again, you want to cut that little circle out in the middle first. And then do this around the outside second. Okay, what are the settings going to be for this? Well, you can use the same speed and power. Just change your passes to one. Or perhaps two. You're going to have to do some tests on your material. But otherwise, uh, you can use the same settings, just reduce the number of passes. And air assist is a big plus here, as well as a honeycomb board. We're going to start out with the, uh, the front part of the uh, sign here. The, uh, this is uh, the biggest cut. This one will take the longest. Uh, so what I've done is I've drug it in here, and I'm going to center it on my workspace. And as I said, I work from absolute coordinates. 
if you're working from current position or a user origin, you are not going to be able to have all this stuff on the peripheral out here. Uh, for example, if I would change this to uh, current position, and I would go to see how long it was going to take to cut this out, well, you see, it's going to try to cut everything all over the place, and you obviously you can't do that. It would also take almost eight hours, so you definitely don't want to do that. However, when I am working from absolute coordinates, it only looks at what's inside your work area. It does not look at anything outside the work area. So now if I click on how long it's going to take to cut this out, it's giving me an hour and four minutes and 27 seconds. Because there is a lot to cut here and a lot of passes to make. Uh, there, that's why I again tell you to make sure you do a test on your material. Perhaps you don't need to do that many passes. Perhaps you could go with a little bit higher speed. But this is uh, again for a 10 watt laser. If you have a 20, 30, 40 watt, you're going to need to do some tests. This obviously is going to cut a lot quicker. Okay, with that said, and you got this on the, uh, I've got it on the laser, got it all set up to run. I'm not necessarily going to be using the MechPow. I don't know what laser I'm going to use. Whatever one is down on the table down there, uh, probably going to be the Algo laser. I think that one's set up on the table. And I'll be doing the cutouts out on that, and we'll take a look at how all this cuts out. Okay, once you get all your pieces cut out, you need to do some painting. And what I've done here, this is my example, you can do this however you want. You can choose whatever ornament you want. Maybe you just want snowflakes, or maybe you, it's entirely up to you. Color scheme here, what I did, you can do something different of course, is I painted the very top of my ornament green up here, and I made a band across the middle of uh, green, that happens to be John Deere green, because I just happen to have some of it left in a can. Uh, this here is white, of course, the snowflake's white, blue background. You use CA glue and activator to put the two uh, layers together, the quarter inch or the eighth inch. And I did the same thing down here with the uh, ornaments. And with the ornaments, I also painted the back, just in case they would flip around in the wind or whatever on your door or wherever you're hanging this. Um, I probably should have painted the back of the upper part, but I didn't. This is going to be in an enclosed uh, concealed area. Uh, here with the, uh, the candles, you got a blue, dark blue background, red candles, yellow flames, a dark blue background on the uh, little Christmas tree here. And if you so desired, you could paint little ornaments on there if you wanted to. So these are hung on there with uh, jute twine, nothing fancy there. Or you could use uh, metal ornament hooks for all that matter. So I'll just give you a couple of ideas there on uh, how you can make this. So there's just a, a quick, easy project you can do on your laser. Like I say, you don't need a high power laser to do stuff like this. You can do it on 10 watt. It just takes a little longer, as I've shown here. And I'll put a link in the description on where you can download this file from, from uh, designbundles.net. And yeah, you're going to pay for it. It's not free. But if you have a Plus membership uh, already, you, it is a free download. And I have a Plus membership because we get a lot of files from there. Again, not sponsored by anybody here. Just wanted to kind of show this little quick project you could do, hanging on your door, hanging on your porch. So a great little Christmas project to make a good gift to. And like I said, you're not limited to just saying Merry Christmas. You can make it say welcome or ho, 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 or just about anything you wanted to. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. A little Christmas sign project for you. Beginner laser project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.